Hey everybody, Jerome Maldonado. So I promised you guys we're gonna document the process of buying land, building houses, and so we're at frame stage. Right now, with the house is about 75% finished as far as framing is concerned and so what we're doing today is we're walking the house we're gonna make minor modifications little detail work as far as like the, the uh, picture windows in the bathroom to put your soaps your shampoos all that stuff on uh, we want to make sure we have the benches that we want put in um, by the fireplaces we got our fireplace uh, details that we're gonna do as far as the mantle the size of the fireplace how we're gonna set that as far as benches in front of the fireplaces so now it's detail time this is where we go out and we we finish up the detail carpentry to, not the detail finished carpentry, but the detail carpentry to the actual framing of the house. Now, there's a few things in this stage that's super, super important. And so I want to explain to you guys that this is a, the part, this is one part of the phase that you need to really pay attention to the most when you're building the house. But otherwise, you're gonna get stuck in the lag time between subcontractors if you're not thinking in advance. So when you're at this stage of the game right now, we're probably about a week out from needing roof penetrations from the plumbers and the mechanical contractors, being the heating and cooling guys. Because they, you, all the pipes that you see coming up out of the roof of every house around town, those penetrations need to get done before you actually, um, before you actually do the roofing. And so we need to get the plumbers to come in and put their vents out. We need to get the, uh, the plumbers to put any of their, uh, the, any of their uh, exterior um, plumbing vents that go out of the roof. HVAC guys need to come in and put all their vents coming out. And then if the electricians have to get wires or anything ran and flashing put in for, uh, for conduit, for the heating and cooling system, um, or anything that's going on the roof, they need to get that stuff put in prior to the roofer. So you're gonna contact your electrician, your mechanical, your heating and cooling uh, contractor, you're gonna contact your plumbers, and you're gonna get all your roof penetrations. Now you need to do that right now at this stage of the game. The other one that you need to contact is your, if you have fireplaces, is your fireplace contractor, the person that's installing your fireplace because you gotta vent out the fireplace as well. So that's a super important aspect to what we're doing right now. Now, we have windows coming in next week and we're gonna seal off the build. And so when the windows come in, We'll get all of them put around and then we'll come in and put what's called temporary doors on the rest of the build. We'll put all the, the uh, temporary front door, temporary back door, and then we've already contacted our garage door supplier to order the garage doors and we did that a week ago. So the second that we get lumber dropped, we call our garage door contractor to get the garage doors ordered so that that way when we're ready to close up, windows go in and everything's sealed, we can, we can close off the build, our fireplace doesn't get stolen, none of the materials that we have in here gets stolen and we actually can close off and lock down the build. Now, once the, uh, once the penetrations are done, you want your roofing contractor to come in. And so one of the big things that you want is to be communicating with your roofing contractor and you can hear all the nails going in the background, but you're gonna, you're gonna wanna contact your roofing contractor to be able to make sure you're on their schedule. So the second the roof penetrations are done, you can start doing all of your interior rough-ins for your heating and cooling system, your top out for your plumbing, and you can get your electrical rough-in done and have the house entirely sealed off before you get to insulation. And so we'll be we're already in contact with our roofing contractor right now to be able to seal off the roof and get all of the every everything closed off and completely sealed over the next two weeks. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we are buying land and we're building houses. I promised you guys that uh, I was gonna document the entire process. In spite of the distractions in the background, the, the air hammers going, the contractors throwing wood, and, the, and real work going on, I wanted to explain to you guys the key components right now. Plumbing, mechanical penetrations, electrical penetrations, heating and cooling for your fireplace penetrations, roof, windows, garage doors and temporary doors. So ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't followed the entire process of buying land and building houses, this is video number 14. And so if you have it, go back to video number one. We documented the entire process from buying the piece of land, setting out the layout from the survey, doing all the entitlements from architecture, engineering, and uh, permitting, dealing with the HOA, all the way to setting the uh, pad site, pouring the foundation, and going vertical with the build. So click below, watch the full series, one through 14, we'll probably have over 100 videos. 
pound and subscribe to our YouTube channel and pound that like button. We look forward to seeing you inside. You guys got to watch how I buy land and build houses. Now it's time for you to take action. If you want to get a hold of the same 14 step process that we utilize to buy land, build houses and generate over six figures on every single build, you're going to want to click below. Learn from an industry professional that has been doing it for over 20 plus years. We're still doing it today. We're still taking down builds and we're still generating over six figures on every single build.